Hey guys, Sulemir here, and today we're doing an ant species video about the Campanotus albosparsus. Sometimes they're called albo. They have single queens that are semi colostral, so again, no feeding them until the first batch of workers hatch. They are also native to Southeast Asia, so if you're in Southeast Asia, you can get these. They are omnivorous as they tend to charge the food very eagerly when we feed them. Later we're going to show you on that. Major and minor workers from 4 to 7 millimeters. And minor as in small, not as in the mining. Minor. <clears throat> Queens are usually 9 to 11 millimeters in size. They have black heads and gasters brown torsos, and colors vary between colonies, but all, but all have spots on the gasters to mimic eyes. The queens are hard to dis distinguish from the irritants, both shiny black, but albosparsus are smaller. We used to actually have problems with that. <clears throat> they are also soil-dwelling ants, and sometimes found under rocks, and etc, etc. One of the smallest campanatas around our area. We don't really see the workers, only young queens, because we got this queen, and yeah, we never really saw the workers. So now, we're going to show you the food and stuff. What he, we have been showing you was one of our Campanatus albosparsus colonies, one out of our five colonies. So the whiter workers are newer ones, and the blacker slash browner workers are the older ones that already had their shells hardened. And some of the bigger workers are the majors. You can tell the difference between the majors and the workers by the majors having bigger heads and generally bigger bodies than the workers that are smaller. You can see the queen looking at its workers. No, her workers. And sorry that it's a little bit blurry, it's just that they like to make messes around the tube. So now we're gonna show you how they rush for their food. <clears throat> Here we're feeding them some prawns that have been cut up into smaller pieces because they can't quite eat the bigger pieces yet, otherwise it would just rot. And then this is the honey that we're feeding them. And now I'm going to put in the food dish. And then I'm going to have to pour in a little bit of honey. I just gotta move it to a better area. And that's one colony done. And then we're doing the food next. You can see how some of the workers are already rushing up. Now we just gotta wait a little bit until the worker tells the rest of the colony. Then they're going to start rushing up, unless this is one of the irregular days. So this is after a minute and the ants have already started swarming. It may be hard to see them because of the coloring, but you can still see them on the rice. <clears throat> we estimate around 50 ants in this colony, and I repeat, it is an estimate, not the total number. And that's some of them collecting the rice to move it to their colony to eat. Oh yeah, it's not rice, it's prawn. 
But now, if you look carefully at their gasters, you can see how the how they have the spots on their gasters. And here is one of our smaller colonies. That's all for today. Like and subscribe. Bye!